Your friend seen. Please ask yourself. What would you have done? I did make a promise. To the man I loved. We're here. You're home, ma'am. <sighs> Have you ever tried to imagine that moment? The day you come home alone? What was so full is suddenly so empty. Joe would have hated that silence. He would have wanted a party. So I tried. This was on our very first field trip to Borneo. We had just started doing our research. He really relied on you. Oh, excuse me. I was afraid you weren't coming. Oh. What happened to the box? Well, the Diet gave me the box to bring Joe's ashes home from Borneo, but he so loved that urn. It held the hearts of sacrificed sacri warriors. We'll want to put him in something more substantial. Avila, oh, damn it. Let me do those. Oh. Go visit with your company. I can't take any more sympathy. When Ralph died, I washed dishes nonstop for weeks. Eased the pain, but ruined my hands. I don't know what I would have done without you. Well, it was a choice between Joe's funeral and that stupid cruise I saved ten years for, and I just figured that the funeral would be more fun. <laughs> I know I owe you an answer, Francine. But you had no right to try to take him. You're his daughter, yes. But whatever you might think of me, I was his wife. I don't suppose Daddy got to finish this. No, but I have all his notes I thought I might try. Mother typed his first two books. I know. She was always too ill to travel, you know. I've um, made a list of family heirlooms, things that belong back home. Um, and if you don't mind, Daddy's ashes would be much easier to carry on the plane in, uh, in that box. But friends. Francine, I, I promised Joe... You're not going to scatter his ashes. He shouldn't even be ashes. No, but that's what he wanted. He made me promise. We are laying him to rest in Montecito a week from Saturday, next to Mother. That's what he wanted. No, but Francine... It's in the will. We also need to discuss this house. What? This house? Daddy left it to me. But this is our home. We lived here for 20 years. Oh, everything we... Arbilla, you must have seen the will. Oh, yes, but he made another will after we were married. Did you ever see it? Well...
Daddy didn't always get around to things, did he? Like retire back to Santa Barbara to be near his grandchildren. Daddy gave you a wonderful life. Let me take him home, and you can have this house. No. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Francine, I can't, not tonight. The service is a week from Saturday. I will call you to make the arrangements. I'd barely been out of Idaho. <laughs> he certainly changed that. What would I do without him? Mrs. Holden? Yes? I'm Reva Fox. Your daughter called and asked me to handle your sale. I am so sorry for your loss. You have such a lovely home. May I come in? No. No, you may not. I don't have a daughter. But Mrs. Packard... Is not my daughter. My house is not for sale. <sighs> Boy, oh. they sure don't waste any time, do they? <sighs> what happened? It's Francine. She's threatening to sell the house unless I give her Joe's ashes. What? She can't sell your house. Well, it's her house according to the will she has. I don't know. I'm Joe. I was sure Joe made another will when we got married, but I can't find it anywhere. Well, did you talk to your lawyer? Archibald Pratt. Oh, he's in a nursing home. Last time I saw him, he called me Nana. Well, but his files have to have No, information. his files were in the basement last spring during the flood. It's got to be here somewhere. No, it's not. It's not. Believe me, I've searched everywhere. Maybe God wants Joe back with his family. Oh God, I can't believe you said that. Can't. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Arvilla. I didn't mean it like that. I... Our marriage was everything to us. We were inseparable, you know that. Francine can't take that away from you. No, she can't take that away from me. But she can't take away your house either. Yes, but I promised Joe that I would scatter his ashes. He doesn't want to be sealed up in a box. He wants to be out in the world. Marvilla, Joe wouldn't want you to lose this house. Well, I'm not packing Joe up and dropping him off at the post office. Hello. Oh, hello, Avila. Good, thank you. I'll arrange to... What? Oh, no, really, you needn't come. Oh, no, of course you're invited. The service is a week from Saturday at 1 p.m. You can stay in the green bedroom. No, it's no trouble, I insist. Yes, just let me know your plans. Yes, fine. Goodbye, Arvilla. That was Arvilla. Mm -hmm. She's bringing Daddy's ashes. Mm -hmm. You're doing the right thing. Yeah. Especially going in person. And we'll come with you. We'll what? Oh, no, you don't have to do that. Well, listen, sister. I was supposed to be on the cruise of a lifetime this week. You owe me a trip. Really? Oh, <laughs> well, fine then. Let's take a trip. Well, we can fly out of Salt Lake on Monday. Oh, but the funeral isn't until Saturday. Well, that gives us time for Beverly Hills and the beach and... <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the arrangements. It's my treat. <laughs> Rodeo drive, here I come. <laughs> All right. Oh. Neither one of us should be going on this trip. Oh, come on. You can't leave Arlo alone for a whole week. Well, how would you know? You haven't left his side since high school. I have so. Your trips to the ladies' room don't count. And when did you last have to take care of a man, Miss Reza Bird? Well, why do you think I booked that stupid cruise? I was hoping to take care of a man one more time before I die. Oh, Margie. Snack. Uh, For who? The Green Bay Packers? <laughs> Salt Lake's only three hours. I thought you said we were taking the Volvo. Why don't you let me drive you to Salt Lake? Oh, no, Arlo, thanks. Women only from here on. Well, then, take our car. I mean, this thing doesn't even have airbags. Sure it does. Three of them. <laughs> come on, come on. Go on, oh. have fun. Heck, go a little crazy. Shotgun! <laughs> Okay, okay, you take care of him, all right? <sighs> Don't let anything happen to Joe. Or Joe will be living out of a shopping cart. Okay. Evelyn, your father's pills are in the... I know where they are, Mom. Listen, if you let her finish, you're going to miss your plane. Well, we're six hours early. I think we'll be all right. Don't forget your sunblock, Mom. <laughs> Bye. Have fun. Be careful, ladies. Bye. I'll miss you. Joe's Bonneville. <laughs> I'd never even driven that darn thing. To be honest, I think I was going a little crazy. Laughing one minute, crying the next. I was a mess. Ah! Ah! Arbella! Arbella! Ah! 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 
Here, I got these for the peach, but, well, what? you can use them now. Oh. 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 oh, I love it. It was so thoughtful. <laughs> this is my color, too. Uh -huh. This will help with the hair. Hello, Jackie. Oh. Ooh. Get my glasses on. <gasps> You look like Grace Kelly. Oh, no, do I? <laughs> do I? Okay. All right. You ready? ready? Yes, let me take Joe back. Uh, okay. All right, girls. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, All right, California. Here we come. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, loser. I gave those to Goodwill. Did not. <laughs> I know you didn't. Oh, Mark Jean, that's coffee. <laughs> what do you expect? Chicken soup? What kind of Mormon are you? The fun kind. Come on, you're not going to go to hell over a cup of coffee. Besides, if anybody's going to fry, it's going to be me. Don't say that. I drink coffee. Enjoy the occasional medicinal scotch. And I would give anything to feel a man's oh, Margie. <laughs> big rig. <laughs> Nickel and you. <laughs> you don't remember this? He locked us in the basement so we couldn't get away. And then Rusty Mars and Jimmy the Wind and we all climbed out and escaped. Except for Tommy Schofield, a little wuss. Oh, look! Oh! Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my word, they're so young. Oh. Really takes you back, doesn't it? <laughs> Have you ever been to the Salt Flats? No. We don't have time to go sightseeing. We'll get a later flight. It's okay. You know what Francine's expecting us. Do you call it? Just call an auto. Arlo said to have fun. So have fun, damn it. <laughs> Same. Same as what? Well, Joe and I stopped here on our honeymoon. It was perfectly dry then. <sighs> there were amateur races that day, and a driver let Joe take his sports car for a run. I stood there and watched as the man I'd just married raced away at 150 miles an hour. <laughs> Tighten your seatbelts. Why? Because I promised Arlo I would get you back in one piece.
think we should come. Don't worry, everything's fine. No, I didn't. Carol Brim said, damn it. I did not. And don't you dare tell anyone. Someone will come by. <sighs> we could die here. And then we'll all go together. Found it? Joe gave me this scarf. Where'd you get that? It was under the front seat. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Bryce Canyon on our honeymoon. There's someone out there. What? Carol's hallucinating. Look, no, look, look. Someone's out there. Oh. What should we do? Oh, my jean. Need help? No, honey, we're just sunbathing. <laughs> Do you need help? I'm Bo. I'm Arvilla. <laughs> Where did you come from? I'm hitchhiking. I've never been to the Salt Flats. It's breathtaking, ain't it? <laughs> Here, let me. Oh, thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you think it's safe? Oh. What are you waiting for, an engraved invitation? Which direction are you heading? <laughs> Does it matter? We're heading south. So am I. Well, get in. Our villa, wait, you don't mean that we're, no, we're not, we're not driving all the way to California in this thing. Uh, Joe had this thing overhauled just last month. She's as good as new. I wish we could all do no, that. No, I'm serious. So am I. W what about Francine? Well, I'll call her. Uh... It works. It's her machine. Francine? This is our villa. Um, uh, I don't... We missed the flight. And... Um, so we've decided to drive. Okay. <laughs> You're my witnesses. I called. they grow, they neither toil nor spin. Well, I was toiling and spinning in the car on the way over to the station today. Hey, 
got it. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. I just wish you hadn't given him the keys, that's all. Okay. Three trucker specials. Thank you. And a veggie sand. I don't think he can hear. I'll go get him. <laughs> it, it's a beautiful car. It was my husband's. Oh, uh, I, I thought you might need a clean t-shirt. So, you're not from around here. No. Well, neither are we. We're from Pocatello. Idaho. Where are you headed, Bo? New Mexico. What's in New Mexico? Hmm? What's in New Mexico? Family, reunion, and you, vacation. Oh, yeah, it's a regular joyride. Oh. We're taking our villa's husband back to her stepdaughter. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. See, our villa promised us at our ashes. He's but, not interested but if in she, this. If she does, Joe's daughter will take away her house. Oh. Well, be careful down there. Are you sure you know what you're doing with all those wires? Uh, uh. There. Uh. That should do it. <laughs> Where do your parents live? My father lives in New Mexico. And your mother? She died when I was nine. Oh, I'm sorry. In the warm heart of your love and mind To feel around me And to take your hand along the sand ah, But I may as well try and catch the wind Oh, she's beautiful, Bo. So when beautiful. May I? So your father raised you? I raised myself. But someone must have been there to take care of you. They met when he was on leave. And she never heard from him again. But, but you found him. I promised my mom I would. I don't know. I don't know, but I think we've gone far enough for today. I'm gonna to find a motel. We're gonna continue on south tomorrow, Bo, if you wanna keep riding with us. Ladies, thank you. But it's taken me so long to get here and I'm in kind of a hurry. <laughs> Well, you ever get up to Pocatello, you look us up. 
I mean it. Come give an old lady a kiss. Oh, Boo. Here. Don't forget this. You know what? Keep it. Oh, Bo, don't be silly. Please, it's a gift. I could use the silence, and you guys could use the tunes. <laughs> <laughs> well, then let me buy it. You gave me a ride, and that's fair. <laughs> you rescued us off the salt flats. We must be worth more than that. Please? Bo. Bo, take my Book of Mormon. You might find something good in it. Huh. I got this one from my first drive in Utah. <laughs> and I've been offered two more. <laughs> Keep yours. It looks like it's special. Now, you be careful. There are some dangerous people on the road. Ah, like you three. <laughs> <laughs> Here, headphones. I hope you find your father. Oh. At least I tried. And that was it. The moment I started to wonder. Was I wrong? If a nine-year-old boy could make a promise and keep it all these years, Shouldn't I? <sighs> Our villa. Have you got any quarters? Carol cut me off. Bless your little heart. <laughs> oh, have you ever been to Bryce Canyon? No. Why? It's so beautiful. Oh. Joe and I drove the Bonneville on the back roads all the way from Santa Barbara to Pocatello. We always said we were going to go back for a second honeymoon, but... You planned this all along, didn't you? You never intended to fly. Yeah. See for yourself. Come on! You have to try it! <laughs> Klepto. They're for Arlo. He collects them. Yeah, sure he does. Come on, get over here. No, I'm busy. <laughs> Carol's had enough adventure for one day. You two don't think I'm any fun, do you? No, we think <laughs> you don't think you're any fun. <laughs> Thank you so much.
You got coffee. I bought it for you. Morning. Uh, you probably don't remember me. I'm Emmett Johnson. That's my truck. And yes, well, we do remember you. Uh, your truck made quite an impression. Well, so do three beautiful women in a convertible. Uh, look, I'm gonna go in there and eat. Uh, I'd be honored if you'd join me for breakfast. Oh no, we just ate. Well, how about coffee? Yeah. Well, look, now, we seem to be heading in the same direction down this road here, and maybe we could have dinner down the road, do you think? Oh, no, we've made other plans. Well, all right, I'll let you go then, and safe trip. We are, um, going to be in Las Vegas on Thursday. Are ya? Any place special? Yes. Um, we're going to be at the Riviera at 8 o'clock. Riviera at 8. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Arvilla. And this, this is Marjean. And uh, that is Carol. Carol. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Safe travels. We can't believe you told him where we were going. What if he shows oh. up? This from the woman who wanted to go on the love boat? Oh, please. You thought he was hot yesterday. That was yesterday. Today he's just a stranger in a truck. Oh, let's get out of here. Wait, what are you doing? I'm gonna drive. Oh, come on. Come on. No. Joe would let me. Ugh, suit yourself. But look. You gotta be careful, because this is really powerful. The only other time Joe ever got my go was that stupid, drunken head. Look what I brought you from New Guinea, he says. He thought it was perfect for you. <laughs> well, they probably could have heard my scream in New Guinea. <laughs> when Joe asked me to spread his ashes, he didn't say where. But now part of him was out there on the salt flats. It was an accident. He'd be happy to be there. Well, at least we didn't have chemistry or hot lunch until my senior year. Oh. <laughs> Francine. For a special ring. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Joe, Joe picked it out. She's not answering. I think her message said we. Oui. You don't suppose she's bringing that awful Marjean? <laughs> well, that'd liven things up. Just what Daddy's funeral needs, livening up. Under the waves, deep in the drift, I can feel the salt upon my skin. Under the waves, falling. I no longer see the rains
no, everything's fine, really. We're, we're all fine, and the car's fine, and... No, oh, no, you stay where you are. <laughs> no, it wasn't Marjean. That's, um... Uh, never mind. Uh, I should go. I love you. Bye. Aren't you gonna get it? She might be worried. She's getting what she wants. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm gonna turn in. I think our villain's being uh, just a little bit. Just I think. I think you're doing really well. Good night. You remember this place, Joe? Are you going to clean this room? I just don't like leaving a mess. Where'd you go last night? Bathroom. For half an hour? drive one of those things? You don't drive, you pilot. And Joe said I did it better than he did. Avila! Avila, watch out for the... Oh. Ow! The sandbar! Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, take me now. Oh. Just get it over with. That's not funny. <sighs> they told us not to come this way. They told us the water was low. 
and they said it was particularly low in this area. I, they, they said it was, it was way too low. We're going to ruin the funeral. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't you ever get tired of always being right? I'm not always right. Well, it must be exhausting being Carol Bram, everyone's moral conscience. I just don't understand why you're trying so hard not to get to Santa Barbara when it's the whole reason that we're on this trip. And I don't understand why you're so worried about Francine. I am not worried about Francine. I am worried about you. Where do you think you're going to live? You need to take care of yourself. I know how to take care of myself. Oh. Like you're taking care of us right now? Take a look around. Oh, wait, I forgot. We're having an adventure! Carol! Not if you've got anything to say about it! My God! Wouldn't the world be so much simpler if we could all live by your rules? Oh, our The God. only rule I live by is the golden. Ah! And I sure wouldn't do unto others what you ah! are doing. Stop unto it! You two, before you say something you're going to regret. You all kiss and make up. You better do it or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook dinner. Okay. It's easy to judge, to think we know for certain the right thing to do. Sometimes, it just isn't so clear. Marjane! burn down the whole boat. Well, you didn't have to throw it overboard. <laughs> what was it? Asphalt. <laughs> what was it supposed to be? I don't know, but whatever it was, at least we know water kills it. Okay, Martha Stewart, you make dinner. <laughs> Sandwiches? That's what you're saving the day with? They're lovely. Uh-uh. Dear Father in Heaven, we thank Thee for this food, and we thank Thee for our many blessings and for keeping us safe. Bless Arlo and all our families on Earth and in Heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. See how sweet she is when God's listening? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. That's delicious. Thank you. Oh, please. They're not that good. <laughs> Jean, uh, our villa, we're moving. Oh. Oh. Arlo, you'll never.
never guess in a million years where I am right now. I don't want no reason. I don't want no rock. Give me so much sugar, baby. Give me one more time. I'm feeling you. Just give me some of that sugar, baby. Give me some of that sugar. Good evening. Hello. We have a reservation. Uh, Holden for three. Did you make that four? Hello. Oh. You're late. Thank you. Well, your waiter will be right with you. Where were we? Well. Well, this is going to be an interesting evening. I'm sorry, excuse me a minute. You just have a little thread right here, and I can get it for you. Oh, dear. You bought a suit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well. <laughs> and I told the principal, the kids know how to reproduce just fine. What they need help learning is how not to. But when I wouldn't back down, he fired me. No, he didn't fire you. You retired. I was fired. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Well, I've still got some surprises left in me. Well, I'll bet you do. <laughs> I'll take that bet. <laughs> we have to use the ladies' room. We'll meet you outside. Oh, thank you for dinner, Emmett. It was lovely. Oh, it's my pleasure. Yes, thank you. It's my pleasure, indeed. My pleasure. Uh Did you get enough to eat? I did. Oh, good. It was delicious. Good. So... I, I talk too much. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no. Did they actually fire you? Well, yeah, I guess I've always had a problem with authority figures. More like authority's got a problem with you. <laughs> well, it takes one to know one. Oh. <laughs> like that tattoo, for starters. <laughs> I was a sailor in the Navy. Ah, girl in every port. A nuclear sub doesn't put in the port much. I only had one girl. Oh. Who was she? Sarah Eagle Hart. We married right out of college, and uh, I bought an RV. After I got out of the Navy, we were going to see this country once and for all. And, Sarah died, and uh, I sold the RV, bought the truck, and hit the road. Hmm. Hmm. What do you say we hit the town? Fine by me. Okay. Oh, Joe always bet 18. Okay, put me on 18. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, he always lost. Well, thanks a lot. Machines. Oh, I don't gamble. We all gamble. Are you having fun? Just, it, it doesn't seem like you are. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for a client. You're here on business? Yes. Huh? And there it is. Robert? Try it. On me.
that. Cheers now, honey. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness, I've never heard anything in my life. What do I do? The general manager will be right over. Okay. Oh! Jane's not back yet. Maybe she's having fun. We don't even know him. She's a big girl. She can take care of herself. Stop worrying. Go back to sleep. I can't keep that money. Oh, God, Carol, don't be silly. It's not really my money. Well, she gave you the dollar. I was gambling. Yeah, but think of it this way. Maybe you won for a reason. I mean, you could always buy something nice for Arlo. <laughs> you miss him, don't you? Yeah, I do. You know, I'm really glad that you came. Of course, I didn't give you much choice, did I? <laughs> Arlo could use some new tools. Yeah? I could start college accounts for the grandkids after I pay my tithing, of course. Well, what about something for yourself? <laughs> I don't need anything. <laughs> yeah. It's true, you really don't need anything. Except maybe a sports car. A little red sports car. Ooh, ooh, wouldn't that surprise people? <laughs> oh, Sister Brim, you're full of surprises. <laughs> Touch it. You're done. Okay. Your turn. All right. All right, now be careful and don't get any of my eyes. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm making a mess of it, kind mm. of. Doesn't matter, don't worry about it. Mm. This is hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, it's only mud. No, I'm in the ashes. It's only giving Francine part of Joe. I know that, but... I don't know, it's just something I'm gonna have to live with. You know? He took me dancing. Yeah? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <sighs> I haven't done that in 15 years. Oh. 
That's too long. <laughs> Where are your pantyhose? <laughs> I took them off. They got too hot. Oh. We didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so where is he now? He's he's on his way to Palm Springs. He has an early drop off. <laughs> Are you gonna see him again? Mm, he seems to think so. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well. <sighs> What's the matter? I'm just tired. Hmm. Well, go to bed, go to bed. Yeah. It's a long drive to Santa Barbara tomorrow. Yeah. He told me he was a submarine captain. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Santa Barbara's the other way. Aren't you cutting it a little close, honey? Tomorrow's the funeral. Well, I know what day it is. There's just one more place that I have to go. Right near Palm Springs, if you want to call Emmett. Yeah, we'll be ready to go in a few minutes. Our bear is still in the car. Carol's in the ladies' room. Come on, lady! Dropped off that rig. You wait for me. Take your sweet ass time! Now, Jeez! What, what would your mother say? Get in the truck. Sweet. Excuse me, that's my purse. What are you doing? Hey! Give me that purse. Get out of here! 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 Get out of No, this felt like you made really big stitches. Well, could have given you a mirror and the needle, let you do it yourself. Told you to knock her out. <laughs> Carol, I knew you were trouble the minute I laid eyes on you. Hey, I'm the only trouble around here, Buster, and don't you forget it. Come on, let's get outside. Oh. Hospitals give me the creeps. Okay. Arvilla? Huh? You be okay? Oh, yeah. I'll Come take. On, I'll, I'll look after Carol. Come Go on. ahead. <laughs> don't touch it.
They're sweet together. Oh, it's just the same. It hasn't changed. What is that? Sounds like a party. Can we go see? <laughs> oh, you go on ahead. Uh, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Oh, I'm <laughs> Carol, I'm done. dance with us. We'll have a conga <laughs> Come on. I'm going to go check on our villa. Okay. okay. He won't bite. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jean's my best friend, and I don't want to see her get hurt. Carol. You don't know. I've lost someone, too. So... I do know. <laughs> it's time for bed. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, I think I might stay up for a while. Okay. Oof. Oof. Later. Later. <laughs> You're going to stay up. Put this on. <laughs> thanks. You okay? Yeah, thanks.
It's okay. You wake up. <sighs> you don't have to go. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll see you in a week. Girls, behave yourselves. Goodbye, Emmett. Thank you. My pleasure. Take care. Drive safe. I tried again. Still no answer. How much farther is it? Not far. Want some whiskey in your water? Sugar in your tea? What's all these crazy questions they asking me? This is the craziest party they ever could be. Don't turn the lights, cause yeah, I don't want to see. Yeah. Mama told me not to come. Mama told me not to come. License and registration. Please, we're in a hurry. It's an emergency. Of course it is. Life or death. Death! Thank you everyone for coming. I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting, but... <clears throat> I was waiting for my father. Most of you remember Daddy from the 60 years he spent in Santa Barbara. Although he was gone for the last 20, this was always his home. Thank you for coming today to help the family remember him and say farewell. I was going to eulogize my father, but he wouldn't be very interested in that. Joe Holden never had much patience for convention. 
At an age when most men retire, he kept teaching, kept writing. Arvilla, I know this has been a terrible ordeal for you as well. Thank you for bringing Daddy home. including here with you. I guess you all just got a good laugh out of this, didn't you? No, that is a No, we did You have Please, I wish Teddy had never met you. You... Who do you think you are? I want you out of Teddy's house! Francine, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, God. Oh. I just I know. let me die. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe you'd take the urn and not look inside. Or maybe what was left would be memory enough. A handful was enough for me. I guess I hoped it would be enough for you, too. Don't worry, honey. You can live with me. <laughs> it's about time I cleared all that junk out of the second bedroom. We've got that apartment above our garage. Where should we go? Oh, I'd like to take Joe somewhere for a change. You know, before I met him, the only trip I'd ever been on was with my, my dad to Mexico. <laughs> There's this beach in Baja. You promised us a beach. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Things work out in ways that we can't always understand. I suppose. I mean, look at Joe. When he left Santa Barbara, he never expected to live the rest of his life in Pocatello. Well, who expects that? <laughs> or to die in Borneo? But you know what? I don't think he would have changed a thing. What do you think you're going to do? What? I don't know. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I, 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 I don't have to know. Well, you're not alone. Amen. So I hope this letter finds you well, Francine. And I do hope we speak again. Just know that I never meant to take your father away from you. And if you want to know the truth, I wanted to keep a part of him too. Just a little bit. But Joe Holden was a man of the world. And about the house, I'll leave that up to you. I have my friends and my memories <laughs> and a few places left to see. Our villa. Yeah? When I die, I want you to cremate me and scatter my ashes. Go to hell, Marcin. <laughs> <laughs>